I have a sweet tooth and I would always want to know what goes with cake or birthday cake or bunt cake or whatnot. Well, with birthday cake, the answer is whatever the birthday boy or girl wants. That's very true. But we went to the store and we thought we'd review uh, wine that we have not looked at really at all. I know, very familiar label. Yeah. Taylor. Taylor Wine Company's Cream Sherry. You know, I remember when I was a kid going to Bully Hill Vineyards and meeting Walter S. Taylor. And this was when they were going through the lawsuit with, yeah. uh, I think it was with Coca-Cola or yeah. whoever it was yeah. who owned, uh, who had bought out Taylor. Oh, what a mess that all became. But um, we've done a couple cream okay. sherries before. Yes, from the Finger Lakes. From Finger Lakes. And I'm interested to try this with, uh, with the cake. Yes, so we have a um, very rich white cake, and then we also have a almond gluten-free cake that I made. This is not the color that I had anticipated. Yeah. I knew it was going to be dark, but I didn't think it was going to be this dark. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like a, I mean, what would you classify? Like a maple syrup. Almost, exactly. Yeah, very good. But it doesn't smell like it. But it has a nutty characteristic to mm -hmm. it. Uh, I, I definitely get more of like an almond uh, extract very, smell. Very nutty, like you said. Maybe a hint of prune. No, oh, yeah, I can see that. The cake awaits, so mm, that's great. We really fell in love with sherries when we did, uh, I think it was Hazlitt's Solera Sherry. Mm -hmm. And it was Hunt Country. Hunt Country, too. Their sherry yeah. was fabulous. This one seems to be um, a little less rich than those other two sherries. Cota de Volpe was the mm -hmm. uh, grape that, at least from what we were able to learn about that, which when you think about sherries, they're they're usually, if they're done in, in they're, they're Spanish wines Spanish. by origin, yeah. and uh, from the Jerez de la Frontera area of the Andalusia region of, of mm -hmm. Spain. And uh, this is not a Spanish grape varietal. Right. But anyhow, let's try it. So uh, notes with the tasting of the wine, definitely get more of a, um, almost like a cherry and an almond in there. Um, it's it's pretty consistent throughout the whole palate. Um, <clears throat> very high in alcohol. Do you remember what the percentage is? I didn't see. I think it was 18 if I remember correctly. I think it was 18. Yes. Yeah. 18%. But that's a perfect match for a vanilla cake. Hmm. And that actually does a good job. The almond flour that's in this bun cake that I tried um, actually does a good job in kind of bringing out more of what you might think of the nutty flavors. Why don't you try that and see what you think? It's good. We always are so concerned about what to have for that birthday dinner to make it fun and interesting, but then we never really think about the cake or you can have just your ubiquitous iced wine or iced wine. Which would go but, well. Mm -hmm. it, well. it definitely would, but we wanted to try something different and more creative. And I think the sherry, really because it has that richness to it, mm -hmm. the nuttiness flavor to it, 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 um, it kind of, it's the antithesis of white vanilla cake, yeah. but it goes so well together. Mm -hmm. It really, really goes, goes well. Um, and the price point, I mean, this bottle was like $7.99, $8, which was, <laughs> which was less expensive than the vanilla cake that we got. Mm -hmm. So you, you can't beat that. Yeah. Taylor Cream Sherry um, from Constellation Brands in Canandaigua, New York. Thanks for joining us today on Wine Forecaster. I'm David. And I'm Leah. We'll see you on the next video. Sounds good.